Hello everyone. Today I am going to share my views on the topic diet and nutrition to maintain and restore the health. Now always we have to follow the balanced diet and we have to be very cautious about we have to be very cautious about the appropriate diet. And uh, we have to see to that our diet is containing uh, vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates and the lipids as well as the sufficient amount of the water as well. Now in a day to day life there are some needs and uh, regarding the diet and nutrition. So today I am going to give you 4 or 5 steps that can be added in our uh, daily life for having the food. The first and foremost is the almonds that means the badam. Almond is a very high source of the monosaturated fats and it reduces the risk of the heart disease. So the myth is it will uh, enhance the process of the atherosclerosis but it is not. It is a very good brain stimulant also and that's why many people they say that the almonds will help in improving the memory. The second one, okay, the good source for the potassium and uh, very rich uh, beverage for the uh, calorie that is your coconut water. So we can definitely avoid all the cold drinks, soft drinks and we can uh, shift to the coconut water as and when it is available. It is a low calorie beverage and a rich source of potassium. It has a diuretic property and it helps in controlling the blood pressure as well. So you can prescribe to your patient with the electrolyte imbalance, even you can have it to maintain the good health. The third one uh, which has to be consumed is your barley seeds and uh, it is extremely helpful in a case of the renal disease okay? basically uh, kidney stones because of its diuretic effects so barley seeds can be included in our diet uh, coffee and tea uh, these are the hot beverages in a layman's term they say that we have to keep on avoiding taking this type of uh, drinks especially say the tea for the tea there is something called tannin inside the tea which in fact uh, reduces the amount of calcium which is present in the body and that's why it has to be avoided and even coffee it contains the caffeine so uh, ideally if we think we feel that it has to be avoided but caffeine is often added to the painkillers because it improves uh, the absorption of the painkillers and it increases the pain killing effect and there are many people and uh, many researches it has claimed that caffeine is uh, caffeine in a strong cup of the coffee it can help in reducing the migraine so the people who is having the chronic migraine or suffering or diagnosed with the migraine they can have a cup of a coffee sometimes okay another stuff is your black pepper uh, black pepper it yeah, basically improves the digestion it promotes the intestinal health even uh, uh, it helps in the prevention of the gas formation even it is having the diuretic properties and basically it is an antioxidant it helps the body to fight against the disease and even it has the antibacterial effects so very very effective uh, your black paper is so it can be included in our diet the next one is your cinnamon we call it as a dalcini if you are adding this or infuse this in a lukewarm water it is very effective in curing the common cold uh, prevention of the nervous tension reducing the nausea and stimulating the digestion even you can keep a piece of uh, cinnamon in your mouth okay, when you are climbing the uh, you know mountain and that will help you to reduce the nausea and the vomiting uh, the last one is your cardamom, that means your elaichi. It helps in reducing the flatulence, the abnormal movement in your digestive tract that can be minimized. It helps in reducing the vomiting, motion sickness. Uh, again, when you are climbing the mountain, you may have a motion sickness because of the hypoxia that can be minimized. Vertigo, that means uh, problems related to the balance. Indigestion, this all can be minimized with the cardamom. And moreover, cardamom is needed for all the people okay, who is having the bad breath, they can use it as a breath freshener. So these are few of the um, uh, tips I have given you regarding the diet and nutrition. I will give you the few more maybe the next time. Thank you.